To start this realistic shad, we'll put down a coat of opaque white. The main reason I use opaque white as my base is because it helps the other colors you spray over top to be more vibrant. Another reason, as is in the case of these lures, is white will be a color that shows up prominently on the belly. Next, I'll put a coat of pearl white. The pearl white will give a slight glimmer to the lure. I'm going to use opaque blue over the back of the lure. I'm going to do this faintly, so it's a transition from the back to the side. I'm going to use opaque black for the back of the lure. I cut out an irregular circle out of cardstock for the shad dot. I'm going to use shading gray for the gill plates and the eyes. I didn't have the lid closed when I shook it, so I made this mess and it somehow missed the lures. I cut out a stencil for the gill plate out of cardstock. After all the painting, it's time to super glue and attach the eyes. With the tools assembled, it's time to mix and apply the epoxy clear coat. I take my time and try to apply the clear coat all the way around the lure evenly. Both lures will spin for three hours and then dry another 24 hours. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.